Chess principles are the set of rules which is in general you should follow to win the chess game. Uh, there are many chess principles, I try to narrow it down to the 30 most important one in this hopefully 15 minutes chess video. Uh, before that we'll sh we shall see meme for this week and that is uh, Magnus Carlsen shake hands with uh, invisible opponent. Uh, it is rare occasion where Magnus Carlsen uh, arrive first at the chessboard and uh, he offers a handshake for the memes. He later said that he wouldn't play for the another chess title uh, in, unless uh, there is a shorter, uh, shorter uh, time format and uh, more games. Let's see these principles. First chess principles is the basic one, fight for the center, because if you fight for the center or uh, your opponent fights for the flanks like Hannibal from the Carthage, you will uh, always have the advantage because you can always fight for, for the uh, for the flanks later, but you, uh, your opponent cannot fight for the center, because if he tries to undermine your structure, you, you just go further and you will always have the space advantage. Modern day engines like Alpha Zero uh, gives thematic uh, pawn push in early openings to just uh, give the thorn in uh, your opponent's camp and uh, use that as a weakness later on. But if you are not uh, alpha zero, don't try this at home. Our next chess principle is don't move the same piece twice in the opening. If you move the pieces uh, uh, more than once in the opening and your opponent uh, do does only these principal things, you will be much down in development. Uh, but uh, it, this is actually a game from Magnus Carlsen and a very strong IM, which is Magnus Carlsen just troll his IM and he will later win the game. But if you're not Magnus Carlsen, don't try this at home. Our next principle is develop your pieces quickly. Uh, that often means develop your bishops and knights early in the game so you could have a pleasant game. For example, you, you could play knight f3, knight c6. Uh, you can now, now play a bishop to c4 to pressure this f7 pawn. And you, you could play bishop to b5 uh, to uh, pressure this knight which is defend this, this central pawn. You are ready to castle and you will have a pleasant game. Next we have develop your uh, knights before bishops because uh, knights are uh, less mobile pieces than the bishops and for example you could play uh, like we said the bishop to c4 here and uh, already made, make threat for the enemy king and your knight uh, are needed two, two moves to uh, get to the enemy king so knight before bishops. Our next principle is don't uh, develop your queen too early. For example this is Scandinavian defense but you, if you don't know what you're doing you can find yourself in trouble. Uh, your queen worth nine points and your opponent's minor piece were three points so they can harass your queen and even trap your queen early on uh, like skewers like this to the king uh, and you would uh, lose your queen. Our principle number six is uh, castle as soon as possible. For example, uh, in uh, openings like this, you can castle as soon as move four, and your king would be much safer behind these walls of pawns. So our principle number six is castle as soon as possible. Principle number seven, king's uh, safety is your top priority, because no matter if you up material, you just lose if you don't uh, pay attention to your uh, uh, king's safety. Uh, for example, uh, these back rank problems can be very problematic so uh, it is often useful to make some breeding rooms for your king. Next we have avoid pushing pawns in front of your king. Your pawns are the uh, only pieces that, that cannot move backwards so uh, if you uh, move them in forward you just ruin your king's safety and uh, they cannot do, do anything uh, they own and they are just gonna die gloriously. So uh, don't move uh, pawns in front of your king. Next principle is knight on the rim are grim. For example, is if our opponent plays knights on the rim, our white knight controls these five squares and uh, his knight controls only these three squares, so uh, we'll uh, have a pleasant game and we, we can also get rid of this uh, knight and ruin his pawn structure. So knight on the rim are grim. Our next principle is best pawn should be pushed. For example, in position like this, you have uh, you have option to push push best pawn and you will queen and win the game. You you can also uh, use the best pawn to uh, distract your opponent uh, to uh, absorb pressure or just the queening like in this position. Um, Aaron Imsovich said for the best pawns, a best pawn is a criminal which should be kept under lock and key. Mild measures such as police surveillances are not su sufficient. 
Our principle number 11 is uh, less pawn islands means healthier pawn structure. For example, uh, in position like this, uh, white can immediately make threat for the black pawns and gaggle up one by one because it is too late for the black to uh, get uh, his king into the game. Uh, he would just lose the pawns and lose the game. But all everything would be different in this uh, position if this pawn was uh, here and this pawn was here. It would be uh, one pawn chains and uh, th that would be another. So that would be a different story. Principle number 12. Avoid isolated pawns and avoid double pawns. If you have uh, double pawns in opening and uh, in the middle game, that will be just liability in the end game. Because in a position like this, uh, white and black have an identical number of pawns. They have identical king position, but black is much better because, because he don't have weaknesses like this uh, uh, isolated and this backward pawns. So uh, avoid isolated and avoid backward pawns. Principle number 14. Don't open up the position if you're late in development. Uh, if you're late in development and you open up, up the position, that would be uh, just uh, be easier for the for the, your opponent to uh, take your king. So if you uh, didn't castle and you uh, down in development, don't uh, don't explode the board. Principle number 14. Rooks are good on the seventh rank. For the white, seventh rank is here, and for the black, actually seventh rank is a second rank. Rooks are very uh, well coordinated together on the seventh rank. Uh, they can uh, create a lot of uh, um, threats to the enemy king. They can uh, have a lot of targets. For example, this uh, this pawns, and uh, they they can uh, make immediate threats for the uh, mate on the enemy king. Our principle number 15 is connect your rooks. Uh, that means get rid of the pieces between your two rooks because your rooks are uh, most efficient when they are coordinated together and uh, they defend each other and they are ready to, to fight. Rooks should go to the open or half open file. That is because that is ma maximize uh, their potential and uh, the squares that they, they are controlling. Doubled rooks on the open files are extremely strong. They're, they're uh, controlling the files. For example, if you uh, manage to double stack the, the rooks like this, you will control the whole file and uh, your opponent could never uh, claim this file because uh, you, you, you uh, defend it two times. Principle number 18 is rook go behind best pawn. Uh, if black that doesn't do anything, we're just gonna push the pawn and queen in, so must, he must go back. And that uh, gives us opportunity to uh, advance and uh, make our position much better. Principle number 19 is create outpost when you can. This is the textbook to, of the uh, outpost in, and it is from Judith Polgar's game. It is the square in the enemy camp where you can place your piece and uh, your opponent cannot easily kick him out. So always create outpost when you can. Our next principle is don't give up the bishop for the knight without a good reason. Even at, even up the bishop and the knight are the equal three points material, uh, bishops are a little bit better than the knight and don't give up, uh, don't exchange it with any good reason. Next we have bishops are better in open position and knights are better in a close position. Uh, like uh, in situation like this, uh, like you said, uh, knights on the rim are grim and the black, uh, the black knight is completely immo immobilized because the white bishop controls all the squares and uh, black, bishop ca black knight cannot move. So in the open position there's bishop uh, that who is better and the, in the close position that uh, that is the knights. Our Principle number 22 is opposite color bishops are generally draw. It is very dry position and in 99% of the, uh, of the uh, position when you have two bishops and a, a couple of pawns it is just a draw. Our next principle is when you have uh, your opponent attacking you on the flank, the best will, uh, way to deal with it is to uh, counter attack in the center, because your opponent must uh, must go back and uh, deal with uh, his threat uh, on the center. Next we have when you can recapture uh, the piece with the two pawns, recapture towards the, towards the center, because there is, uh, where is the action. For example, we have a situation like this, uh, don't recapture like this, uh, it's much better to re recapture with the A pawn to uh, go closer to the center. Our tip number 25. Use a king in the end game. When you have exchanged the queens, uh, there is not much chance uh, that you will be checkmate on the board, at least in the middle of the board. So uh, use a king in the uh, end game because you're in the end game, king is your uh, asset. 
Princip number 26. Uh, two passed pawns uh, connected on the sixth rank are stronger than the rook, but because they cannot be taken uh, both. Uh, and uh, no matter where your king is, rook is just too weak to stop uh, these two pawns. If you can attack the base of the pawn chain, because the pawn chain is the weakest on the beginning, or the second, the third, or possibly the fourth uh, pawn on the chain are defended by the pawn uh, behind it, but uh, nobody def defend this little fella, and if, if, you, can, uh, if you can attack the, the base of the pawn chain. Princip number 28. Uh, knights are the best defenders of the kings. You probably heard the saying knight on the f8 there is no mate and this is similar like that. Uh, you have a knight uh, beside your king and is actually control a lot of the squares so uh, the, uh, the, your king is not so easily to be, be attacked. Princip number 29. Always exchange your uh, inactive pieces for your opponent active pieces. For example, uh, black knight made a couple of moves to make this outpost and you have uh, you have no uh, your bishop didn't move uh, entire game so uh, reasonable reasonable thing to do is to exchange these pieces for your opponent uh, active piece our last principle is trade pieces when you are ahead of the material. It is in your best interest to trade pieces when you're winning, because when the dust settles, for example, in situations like this, uh, you can uh, exchange all the pieces, and with, when the dust settles, you will have uh, your extra piece, and uh, you will collect uh, all the opponent's uh, pawns, and uh, you will win the game. So when you are ahead uh, of the material, just try to um, exchange pieces and try to uh, try to liquidate. That is it for this video. I hope you learned something new. See you next video. Bye.